Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC. And I'm pretty excited today, we brought back another race kit to the channel. It's been a long time since I've done a race kit. Uh, I think about a year, no well, maybe not a year, but uh, a lot of manufacturers really haven't released anything new in the last six to eight months. TLR hasn't released a new kit in about two years it feels like. Team Associate, I think since the B6.3, which is like about 10 months ago or so. Um, there are a couple, you know, I did review a Cougar LD2, but for the most part, yeah, the race kits, the race manufacturers have been pretty quiet, but super excited because I'm bringing a brand new kit to the channel, a brand new uh, brand, Yokomo. Never had a Yokomo before. I've always wanted to get a Yokomo, check them out, see how they are. Heard a lot of good things about Yokomo, and I think a few years ago when uh, Ryan Mayfield won the Worlds, I think in both four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive, it kind of catapulted them more into the public uh, mainstream, I guess. But since then, they've been a little quiet. Um, but yeah, they released the brand new YZT uh, 3.1. And it comes in two versions, the Cal version, which is carpet, astroturf, and also the DTM version, which is dirt, uh, you know, clay, that kind of thing. So I picked up the Cal version because my local track is carpet. Uh, I forget what the L stands for. I believe that's the name of the pro racer because the DTM is named after Mayfield. Uh, and the L, I don't, <laughs> sorry, I can't remember who the racer is uh, that is sponsored by Yokomo. But yeah, just picked this up. It got released. Um, I think the dirt version has been out for a month or two, but the carpet one, at least in the US, has not been available. So this is brand new, hot off the presses, still factory sealed. I haven't even looked at the box yet. So there you go. This looks like probably a full scale uh, picture on the rear end. So as a manufacturer, World Championship cars. A uh, bunch of information here. So I don't really know much about the YZ2. I've seen them. Uh, I think I've, yeah, I've driven them before, but uh, have not actually seen one of these. So I'm not sure what the improvements are. I will have to uh, take a look. Looks like they did update the chassis, the side plates, battery holder, uh, a little insert into the hub carriers, new rear mount base and rear upper arms, steel front, uh, steel front suspension mounts three millimeter shock shafts it looks like. So we're gonna take a look inside. Uh, any more information here? Made in Japan. So this sells for, I think it was $3.99 if I, I, you know, I actually ordered this quite a while ago and uh, A-Main didn't have it in stock, but we will have a link in the description below if you want to pick one of these up. A-Main is the US distributor. So if you're in the US, that will be the easiest way to pick one of these up. So yeah, the box is really skinny, pretty small, a lot uh, lower than uh, your typical 10 scale two wheel drive uh, buggy box. Uh, looks like the wing, looks like a front, two front wings as well. Maybe just one, yeah, it looks like one rear wing, two front wings. Here's the body, which looks very much like a J Concepts uh, B6.3 body. Wonder if it's the same thing. I'm pretty sure it's made by Jane Concepts. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Yokomo and Team Associate have sort of collaborated through the years. Yokomo used to always be on the four wheel drive side and Team Associate on the two wheel drive side, uh, but they've sort of crossed over as well. Here are these shocks, these nice gold anodized shocks, plastic adjusters. Okay, a lot of parts on parts tree. So looks like a couple different lengths for shock rod ends, different. Uh, yeah, looks like different shock cups as well, more than one. Uh, the pistons, they look molded. They don't look like they're Delrin or anything like that. O-rings, X-ring seals, uh, feels like aluminum uh, bottom caps and uh, maybe aluminum inserts there. So shocks, don't know much about the shocks. Plastic shock caps with bleeder screws, of course. Um, shocks are quite short so this is a carpet astroturf artificial type surface uh, vehicle so yeah it looks like we're gonna have to pop uh, this is bag eight so let's take a look inside this bag let's see what's inside this guy Shock towers, uh, if this is the front shock tower, that's a super low front shock tower, probably the shortest I've ever seen. Uh, rear shock tower, uh, looks like battery brace. There are molded plastic. Plastics look really high quality, not sure what these are. It looks like maybe wing stays, um, wing mounts, 
still parts on parts trees, really long ball studs there. Uh, I would guess four, I would guess 5.5 millimeter probably, uh, fairly large. We got the rear hubs it looks like, hinge pins look like about three and a half millimeters I would guess. Uh, CVAs pre-built for you, that's pretty nice. Uh, little spacers, ball bearings are metal shielded. Interesting. I wonder if they're oiled, they're probably grease filled, not sure. Uh, looks like the new battery mount. So looks like they've got kind of uh, different adjustments, five different locations for your battery mounts. Looks like kind of the swing arm style uh, to hold in your battery strap. Stuff is on parts trees. Nice looking screws, little washers, a little, I don't know if this is an ESC tray. It's pretty flexible though. Huh, interesting. I don't know if that's an ESC tray or what. Looks like it comes with a slipper, anodized aluminum uh, top shaft, uh, sort of very team associated looking uh, slipper um, with the octagon style pad. Uh, looks like aluminum machined motor plate, uh, sort of remachined after it's been anodized, metal shielded bearings, I assume, for the transmission. Transmission case. I remember when Yokomo first came out, you know, they were, were one of the first ones that really had that full on lay down style uh, transmission. When I first saw that, I was like, how's that gonna work? But uh, it's pretty much taken over and become the standard transmission. Uh, plastic idler gear. Uh, looks like it comes with a gear differential. Um, molded plastic diff case, uh, steel out drives, steel internal gears, of course, uh, cross pins, regular O-rings, uh, some uh, washers or shims there. I'm not sure what this big black blob is. Is that grease? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, here is what? The front top plate, uh, bearings, I would assume steering rack. Does come with servo horns. A bunch of different styles there. Pretty short looking servo horns. Uh, inserts, I assume, for the servo offset for different lengths size, or different size servos. Really skinny pins, I'm not sure what those are. Um, but yeah, that is bag one actually. Bag seven, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, some tools, some screws, bag 11. Uh, some wheel nuts, slightly serrated. Uh, looks like some foam, I'm sorry, Velcro for the body. And then we got, looks like sway bars. Looks like, I would guess the rear sway bars only, bag 12. Some shock fluids, 600 CST, uh, 500 CST, and looks like 5K for the diff. Uh, here is a nice aluminum chassis. Really dark brownish bronze, much deeper than an Associate or TLR. Uh, chassis looks super nice though high quality machined i mean you can almost not even see the machining i mean the no swirl marks or anything super high quality does have some looks like steel inserts here in the front end so uh, i guess to probably mate into the uh, bulkhead and then we'll take a look at this bag don't want to cut it too much a bunch more stuff in here Turnbuckles, pretty skinny turnbuckles, a little too skinny, I think. Uh, but yeah, rod ends, angled ones, short ones, I guess, probably for steering. Uh, but yeah, looks like five, six, yeah, five, six turnbuckles, a little, I don't know what this is, probably some sort of a chassis insert for antenna or something, I would guess. Side reels, I think, are all new. Fairly stiff, some screws there. You will have to cut those off parts trees. Back to looks like the front arms pill system insert. Um, actually, this might be the rear arms. Hinge pins, a couple of little shims. Looks like the uh, yep black. I think they're black anodized uh, hinge pin braces. So I think this is the rear end. Interesting, huh? And this would be the front end. Not sure which is front. This looks like the front end. So you do the rear end first. <laughs> Back two is rear end, back seven is front arms. Uh, looks like a aluminum hinge pin brace. Uh, 
somewhat skinny looking caster blocks and spindles still look a little old school to me inserts i would assume for different um caster inserts uh, some steel hinge pins little plastic bumper um, and then finally the manual english manual some stickers uh, body window mask nice stickers i like that nothing that says cal 3.1 so i would assume these are reused stickers uh but yeah yokomo instructions never looked at one of these before it is bilingual japanese and english i do find japanese manuals i don't know maybe it's just me i do find them a little more difficult maybe because there's just all this extra uh you know japanese characters in there uh, that uh, makes it a little more busy looking but um does have parts they almost look like drawings honestly um hand drawings almost uh but yeah pretty cool looking manual all in black and white um yeah there are a lot of verbiage in english and japanese obviously how to build the shocks uh what's going on in the rear anything special uh, some setup sheets. This is a blank one. Looks like no setup sheets in the rear. Yeah, no factory setup sheets, I guess. Just a blank one. Um, just tell you the gear ratio there, 2.6. Final drive ratio, I assume. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, so there you go. Yokomo YZ2 uh, Cal 3.1 edition. Um, super excited about building this. Haven't built a race kit in a while. I've been doing the bashing stuff, but don't worry. We do still do racing kits on the channel. Just hasn't been much new lately, so I've been doing more of the bashing stuff. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.